I hear a lot of good things about active campaigns. So in this video, I'm just going to jump right in and start up a free trial and walk through the onboarding process and show you how to do that. Stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss. I'm on the Active Campaign site. As I mentioned, I hear a lot of good things about this product. And just checking it out, it seems to have some really good potential. It looks like it has a lot of other products all in one platform. So kind of excited about that. I mean, email marketing, you know, looks like pretty robust email marketing that can replace something like a drip or MailChimp or something like that. Uh, marketing automation, again, it's got a lot of those things that you might find in like a HubSpot and a Drip and things like that. I love the way their workflow looks. If you scroll down, they give you kind of like a little image of their workflow. And that looks very similar to, to what I do currently in Drip what, with more of the CRM elements uh, built in. And that's actually the third thing. You'll see the CRM. They've got some great sales automations. I mean, it looks very you know, similar and, and, and complementary to a lot of the things we do, like in HubSpot CRM. Uh, they've got some sales automations with sequences and, and, and workflow tied in there. And they've got the email sync and, and a lot of things here. So it seems to be a lot of power. Now, first thing I always do is take a look at the pricing. And, you know, the way I, I notice they structure their pricing is one based on how many contacts you have. And then the functionality is this light looks like it's just going to be the email marketing side and the marketing automation. So that's kind of like your, your, your drip MailChimp replacement sort of thing. Then when you want to get into the CRM and the sales automation and get into some custom branding, you know, you're playing for the plus. When you want to get into that site messaging, I didn't mention that, but that's kind of like a drift or chat tool on your, on your website, which is pretty nice. The price jumps up a little bit more, which I think is probably a little bit too much of a jump just for that. So I think it's more of the user limit that you get the bump there. But the bigger concern I have is, is everything. All these are also based on contacts. And I know for my primary business, I've got 10,000 contacts in my CRM. And one of the nice thing about having things separate, I mean, I use HubSpot CRM, which is free for up to a million contacts. But then I use Drip for my marketing automation and email. And I don't need to have all my 10,000 contacts in Drip. I just need to have the ones that are actively in campaigns that I want to send to. So I've got some flexibility here. Here, everything is all in one. And you can see once you get up in the in the numbers there, the price does jump a little bit. But overall, it has potential. And if it does everything that it says it does, it may, it, you know, very well the pricing, you know, fits still. So let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and put in TechSmart Boss and my email address and let's go through their onboarding process and just see how simple it is and how they take a user uh, through this process so uh, no credit card required to set up you get a nice uh, trial period so always gotta love that and um, right away you'll notice now I'm using Firefox on uh, Mac which should be pretty well supported Looks like I'm in kind of a zombie zone. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this process here and resend that. And let's see. I don't have any ad blockers or anything going on. And um, doesn't seem to be working very well. Let's actually... Oh, wait, did it just come back? Nope. Let's pop out. I do see that they sent me an email thanking me. So I am enrolled. So let's go ahead now and it says where the login. Let's log in now. It's so a little bit of confusion point there. That's clearly something that they got to work out. Um, but let's take a look and see if this link will even work. Well, I'm not getting anywhere in this onboarding process. So what I'm going to do is actually copy this. Let's pop into Safari and see if this is going to work a little bit better in Safari. Or maybe I just happen to be doing this on a day where uh, things are down and it looks like it's not actually working in Safari either. So this is really going nowhere right now. Uh, I'm going to click their login button here and see if that does anything different. And it's not. And so at this point, I'm going to just go back. I'm going to try this one more time. Now, this shouldn't work because I've already got an account created. But let's see what happens if I do try to create that account one more time. Maybe that'll trigger something different. 
All right. Hey, look at this. Applying the finishing touches. Is that different? It is different. Hey. All right. So that clearly shouldn't have happened. And I have nothing on my computer that should have caused that to happen. So maybe that was just a glitch glitch in the matrix on this time. But looks like we are in now. And let's go ahead and continue uh, the, 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 the thing here. Now, you'll see here I use um, uh, dash lane. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and type a password versus making them auto generate a password for me and uh part of this onboarding what am i interested in well i'm interested in all these all these are great topics and how many contacts do i have i'm just going to say less than 2500 in this particular case what type of help would you like so you know this is nice i, I prefer self-service i'm sure this goes into some of their marketing campaigns maybe even to a real life person who can reach out to you but i'm going to pick the self-service because that's the kind of person that i am and let's go ahead and get started um and i'll go ahead i don't want to save that right now so we're on our dashboard so this is interesting now at a glance and i saw this from their website you know it looks like it has all these products kind of integrated now on the trial they're going to give me access to pretty much everything i don't have to pick if i want light or plus or those but you can kind of see contacts for all your contact management as part of the crm campaigns looks like a great place in for your marketing campaigns automations is where you, you could probably set up some nice workflows that ties into sales automation and marketing automation i like that you know any crm's got to have deals to track your uh activities uh lists that's interesting one forms so that's integration with the website so you can do lead capture and that's always going to be a part of your email uh, and your marketing automation you want people to come from your website and go right into a campaign in many cases or send out some automatic sales uh, messages so that's a great feature that's included in there and reports and if it looks like they have a little onboarding getting started guide here where you start by creating a list importing your contacts creating campaigns automations forms deals and reports so that looks you know pretty useful uh, from that perspective as well so let's actually, uh, before we end this video, let's click into a couple of these sections and just take a peek and and see how uh, what we see there. So let's look at contacts first. I'm not going to save that. Okay, so now we have a contact. One thing I notice is they don't have any demo data or dummy data in here. So let's actually uh, let's do an import because I actually have. A sample import file that I could use. Now, one of the other things I like about the Active Campaign from their website is all the integrations. And you know, the big one that that I always look for is Zapier, and and they have they have Zapier. You can pretty much integrate anything once you get Zapier. But they have a lot of out of the box native integrations as well. So, a lot of the Tech Smart Boss products like Help Scout, uh, I see that one. A lot of the, a lot of the good products are out there. Let's go ahead and import from a file. I actually have a CSV on my desktop. I'll just bring in the customer list. Uh, that comes from our HubSpot class that we have that we offer. And you know, this is as you would expect. It, it, it recognized some of the names in my columns and automatically mapped them to fields. Let's see if there is a phone number that I could pick here up oh, there's a phone so let's pick that email address uh, if I did want to bring in some address information it looks like I could add new fields here do custom contact fields uh, but I won't do that in this video I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that I'm gonna say do not import this birth well, actually let's do that let's add a field called birth date uh, so this would be a date field and I'm going to just call this birth date. We're going to do a little bit extra in this video here. All right, so that's pretty explanatory. Um, just going to highlight this is from my existing CRM. Let's spell it right. What website is this list of emails from, and what are the URLs of your subscription forms? Uh, so what they're doing here, this is called the CYA, cover your, you know, but type of uh, questions, because if they're going to do any kind of marketing automation and email, they want to make sure you're not spamming people uh, a few weeks ago. So we'll go ahead and answer those. Optional text, that's nice. Import options, these are contacts. Import, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and import. Let's see how that works. 
what I really want to see is what their contact profile looks like uh, in this product. So I just wanted to get some dummy data in here. And now let's go back and manage our contacts so we can see what a profile looks like. Uh, contacts are loading. So, okay, here they are. Great. All right, so we've got a, a nice list view here that I'm sure we can sort and and search and things like that. We've got some action menus here that immediately from a contact I can add deals and tasks. That's a big feature you need to have is tasks and notes. Let's go ahead and click inside one and see how that profile view looks. Um, so okay, uh, so you've got your primary information here. Looks like you can add them to sales automations and marketing automations right from here. That's a nice thing. Uh, your activities as you start to email and do things and your integrations will pop in here. So that's a great view. Uh, organization, you could add an organization. And then at the bottom, there looks like some action menus where I can add tasks and notes and send emails and good things like that. So, you know, all the basics are covered here. This looks like a pretty good, uh, comparable to like a HubSpot CRM uh, and, and, and other small business CRM systems. So nothing that looks outside of the ordinary here. And of course, you can associate deals, which is big. Let's pop in campaigns. Take a quick peek at the campaign section. Uh, and I promise to get this video going a little bit faster and not do as much setup as I did on contacts there. Email campaigns, that looks pretty good. You know, what I really wish is they would have some samples here so I, I wouldn't have to go through and create from scratch. Um, so I won't actually go and, and, and create a campaign, but it does tell me I got to have a list first. So that makes sense why that list was first step in their onboarding here on getting started. Let's take a look at automations because I would like to see their workflow if possible. And let's do a new automation. What I do like about their full scope product is how it appears that you can pull automations from both the marketing and the sales side of the house. That's really useful to have all those in one system. Then you can combine and cross them. So things can cross from, from marketing qualified leads into sales qualified leads. So that's a nice touch. And it looks here, you can trigger your automation from, let's see, uh, subscribes to different lists, submitting. And you could do these subscribes to a list probably from Zapier. So you can have external things come in and pop into your workflow from putting them to a list. That's a really powerful segmentation feature. Uh, form submittals, uh, opening and reading emails. So this looks pretty good. I mean, this, uh, you know, tags, very nice to be able to trigger automations when you tag users in certain ways and goals are achieved. So you can skip into an automation. I like that. That's very similar to Drip. And then if you're doing some e-commerce and you got some purchases and conversions taking place, looks you can tie in there. So I, I like this. Um, let's go ahead and just... Uh, Get into one quickly. I'm going to pick this one that I don't have a trigger. Just see how easy it is to kind of add. What steps can I take? So I can send emails, send SMS, which is a nice touch. You know, that's something you don't see in very many products. Um, send an internal message. You know, that's nice. Conditional workflow logic. Extremely important. Your if else's, you know, your goals to jump to specific sections if they take an action. Uh, triggering off other automations. Web hooks. That's nice. So this is good. I like that. Wait delays always needed. And then uh, contact actions, adding tags, unsubscribing and subscribing, adding notes. Very nice. And then even CRM actions. Oh, look at this. Add deals. So this is really powerful. I mean, this is what attracted me to looking at Active Campaign is their workflow. And it does seem to have everything you need to do some really powerful automations. I love that. Let's take a look at deals really quickly. Uh, looks like you got to add a pipeline first to do that, and then you can go in and add a deal. Uh, let's just add a see what they want here. Ah, okay, so you can actually auto assign deals. That's interesting. That's a, a, a new concept there. You have a concept of permission groups here. Let's just give this uh, test text smart boss. I'll just name, name it anything for now as a pipeline. And okay, so then we can probably set up our deal stages. Right now, it looks like they've got three different deal stages. Okay, there it is, add stage. So you can customize this pretty much to meet your sales process. So that's a good thing there. Let's look at lists. See what's in here. Create a, this is going to be a nice segmentation. What I want to see when I click this is if I can make a, a static list as well as a dynamic list. 
see if it gives me that option here name your list just call it test uh, I'm not gonna worry about those great then okay looks like interesting enough it has to have a URL not a hundred percent sure uh, please enter a reminder got too many required fields here all right let's see what this list uh, this is a static list I do not see at this point where I can make a dynamic a, what's called a smart list in the HubSpot world but if you have a bunch of static lists your automations can make it smart you can automatically include people in the list uh, through an automation so it's a little bit of an extra step you could have automations kind of when you build your list to kind of make them smart as you build them um, but let's see import context oh segment yeah so here maybe you had to go through automations to make your list smart to automatically add and remove people based on you know conditions so you could do it it's just a little bit of extra step there let's take a look at forms and in the form section you know pretty straightforward I'm sure make it yep okay so this is a nice got all did multiple form styles so actually this is very similar to looks like the HubSpot lead-in uh, or the HubSpot marketing light that they offer uh, you also see this kind of thing on get site control and drift has forms like this so again a, a nice way to integrate everything in one platform so uh, and then reports you know it should be kind of self-explanatory uh, I won't dig too much into reports overall this looks extremely prom promising I'm gonna go through and set it up play with it a little bit more let's take a look at apps just quickly and see all the integrations I love integrations and they have a lot which is, is fantastic and uh, let's go back to the dashboard and I can already see some of my stuff filling in based on those contacts I imported looks like there are some oh, okay looks like there's it, it kinda tricks you it makes you think they have some samples but it's just showing you uh, text there and you still gotta create a brand new campaign from scratch uh, and then same thing over here it's, it's faking me out it's making me think I got some activity but it's uh, just uh, fake there so anyhow I like this this looks good uh, it has a lot of great potential uh, I was able to other than that first initial problem I had where it did not take me to my login screen that was really strange it looks like it's gonna be a pretty straightforward uh, onboarding process and a lot of power in here so I'm gonna play around with this some more if you want to stay tuned for more videos on active uh, campaign subscribe to our YouTube channel subscribe to our Facebook page we'll put more videos out there on both of those uh, and uh, stay tuned uh, if you like what you see check us out at techsmartboss.com